<laughs> I didn't know what a whip it was until I talked to a like this guy who, who had been out of prison and mm-hmm. he's telling me all these weird that's weird shit he's done before. He's like, you know what the Wawa's are? And I was like, no. Oh, he was wow. like, it's when he's like, it's when you inhale something funny and your head starts going wah 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 wah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, you mean when you kill a lot of brain cells like, and your head hurts afterwards? I like the flag you on the back. Oh, thanks. Yeah, dude, I have, I have one on my truck, like a sticker. Not, I don't fly, I don't fly a flag. I'm doing a thing now. I'm just like putting flags all around my room. I have. One, two, three, four, five. Five flags right now. Oh yeah, what are the other ones? I have a Christian flag, that one, uh, American flag, and uh, some uh, controversial ones, a Trump flag and a Confederate flag. I don't think that's controversial. I mean, well, it is. Yeah, well, but... Some people, you know, they cry about it, you know. I feel like the majority of America, there's a lot of things that we can all agree on that are positive and that we all want to work towards. But I feel like we we choose and the media chooses to focus on the things that separate us when there's i feel like there's a lot more that brings well, yeah, us because that's what sells yeah yeah so if, if the media focused on everything anyone can agree on there would be no arguments on it and people wouldn't you know be entertained by it i guess so yeah they, you know, they focus on what sells all right well who the fuck is panda well um i don't know i feel like a lot of the newer players now that play today don't really uh know who i am so hopefully maybe this will uh you know, give them some information about myself, but hopefully, I, um, for the most part, I hope they would view me as a cool person, you know? I don't know what <laughs> likes to be hated on, but, uh... Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that's something that a lot of people have come on here and said, is, like, they want to put themselves out there, and that is... The ba- the main idea is to is to give people a spotlight to, you know, I don't know, put themselves out there. We'll, we'll start at the very beginning. So, how does, how does Panda get into playing... Armored 3 Olympus, and why Olympus, and what was before that? I feel like a lot of older players um, on Armored 3 uh, share, share the same reason playing Armored 3 as me. Um, Armored 2, obviously, but uh, Armored 2, let's just start with Armored 2, what got me into Armored 2, is um, Frankie on PC. Uh, a lot of people have heard that name, mm-hmm. uh, you know, since AFK for a very long time, but everyone watches videos, you know, very entertaining, so, you know, like, I want to do that, so. Yeah. Uh, play Armored 2. Um, fun fact, uh, let's just skip past Armor 2 because it's pretty boring. I was pretty stupid then, but, um, <laughs> uh, when I get to Armor 3, I was, uh, only the reason I play Armor 2 is I cheated in Armor 2. I hacked Armor 2. I got Armor 3 to do the same thing, but Armor 3 was substantially harder for, uh, what was I? I was probably 10 at the time. I'm, I'm 16 now, but I was probably like 10 at the time. Right. So it's like, um, I didn't really know what I was doing, right? I was pretty stupid. So I didn't know how to hack an Armored 3, so I just found, um, first of all, at the Slife server, because, you know, it's, once again, Frankie on PC making all the Slife videos. So I joined Olympus, and funny enough, the first person I ever met is uh, Raptor427. If you, uh, you know who that is, um, <laughs> he's the uh, notorious guy yeah. uh, currently in prison now for uh, fondling kids. Yeah. Well, he probably uh, he probably seeked you out. Are you sure that you you just found him or that he came well, for you? Well, no, no, I, I found him. <laughs> I, I spawned in Kavala and he was on like cop. And uh, I actually I already M'd him. Someone gave me a rook and told me to shoot him, so I shot him <laughs> in the head. And I got uh, arrested by him, and that was pretty much the end of my uh, run ins with him. Except for one time I was in his gang, but once again, you know, really nothing happened. Like he didn't try to f- fucking fondle me or anything so, you know. well, that's good man that's good good to hear yeah. <laughs> my first gang that i can remember but that was like actually a gang at the time was called legion way back in the day like, probably like we're talking 2015 early 2016 maybe um and it was a bunch of people and it. it was like basically like of all the scats but for pyragos like they never left pyragos yeah and as um ran by you know some people maybe watching this will know the guy's name skeeter mcgraw no longer plays the server was a pretty prominent member in the community back then. Uh, also, pretty big dent head. So, yeah, well, nobody really, not many people really liked him. But, yeah, he was, uh, everyone knew who he was back in the day. But, yeah, it was my first gang I can remember. This doesn't really count as a gang, but I remember I applied to TI, like, way back in the day when I was, like, I was this young little squeaky kid. I joined TI, I get in TeamSpeak, and they accept me on the forums for some reason. Um, and I joined TeamSpeak. And I, I said something, and they all heard my squeaky voice, and they just kicked me instantly. So um, after that, the next one I remember is Tree, and I was in Tree for like a year. And then um, I can't really remember after that, except for like modern day. I remember in modern day. But uh, 
after Tree, it was just a few gangs. Like, there was a gang back in the day called MS-13, which was relabeled as Paragon because MS-13 wasn't allowed. It's was Paragon, and then I went MC, and after MC, Plague, and was after Plague. I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure Plague is, like, really where I ended uh, on Civ, so that's when I went to Cop. But so I joined a gang. Uh, all of you, or some of you may know, a guy named Little Bill. He had a gang before he made his... Uh, infamous absence he had a gang called hidden islanders which is um which is, was like had me a little bill uh chino if you know who chino is and like sammy and like no no those none of those guys really play anymore but after that he made a gang called absence which was a pretty popular gang back in the day and then uh you know after absence is when i joined paragon and then mc but yeah backing up to little bill what was i even saying was okay that's what it was back in the day uh, when absence was a thing. That's when I, I would say the peak of cartel fights was, you know, like I'm talking like five hours a day, 20 v 20 fights nonstop. You know, like yeah. it was really fun. It was the, I, probably like like I said, the peak of cartel fights. You know, fun. Um, but yeah. Yeah, cartel's kind of dead now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely Dude, now. Are you are you, are you a cartel fighter or do you just is that what your if friends I, are? Back in the day, I definitely was 100%. You know, okay. I used to used to rule the cartels. You know, okay. no, I'm just kidding. I, I was never too insane at the game, but I just like to say I was decent. You know, and cartels now are like nothing like they were back in the day. Now you're just getting shot in the back 24/7. It's just <laughs> not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting. How many hours I have on armor? It's I have four. I have like 4,400. I have. Let's let's get an exact number here real quick. Well, you've been playing since what age? I was. I, I'm pretty sure I was literally like 10 when I first started playing this game. I, and I'm nonstop, not, didn't take breaks. Um, taking breaks, you know, here and there, but nothing longer than maybe, uh, definitely nothing longer than six months. Definitely, <laughs> probably, I'd say max maybe two months. <laughs> I have 9,623 hours on our. Oh, that's greasy as fuck, dude. That is greasy. <laughs> What's your favorite game that you've been on? 100. It's a hard choice, you know, like between uh mc or absence because like it's gonna sound you know pretty cringe but like at the, at the time when i was an mc mc was like um pretty good gang like you know one of the better gangs on the server so like uh, for a while like i was trying I, i'm pretty sure i applied like something ridiculous like five times to mc or something and i, I got denied every time and i was in a gang called paragon i made a montage and then uh like a week before one of my applications to mc it got denied so, and then i got pm'd by mori which is one of the Mori Mango, he was one of the higher ups in MC, and he um, he pinned me and asked me if I wanted to join, right? So you're like, fuck, what, what year is this? This is like 2016. I was, fuck, uh, four years ago. I, I was I was really I was like 12, 13, right? So I was like, you know, <laughs> little young me. I was fucking hyped. Huh? One yeah. of the better gangs in the server, and um, I, like, and they had been there ever since I joined the server, and they'd always been you know a pretty good gang. So I always wanted to join. So I really liked MC, but people like where i get my comedy today like a lot of the shit i joke about like i say like stupid shit and a bunch of, like people that know me know like i say like a bunch of stupid shit that's funny um people that like i got that from like i got that habit from was an absence it was like people like nephew little bill um rabid he was he was in there too uh way back in the day um i'm trying to think if there's another person i know him, jazzy people like that like they would say stupid shit all the time like i can say examples but you know it's not not all of them are very appropriate, you know? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Poseidon, the original original founder of Olympus, was actually playing on Asylum. Like, uh, the, the original founders and, like, staff of Olympus were a gang on Asylum before they made Olympus. So I believe that's where they got the idea from. So Olympus so. was an Asylum gang? Yeah, yes. Oh, no shit. Ah, yeah. I did not I, know that. I, I don't know if the gang on there was called Olympus, but uh, okay. I, know, I know that's how Olympus was made. It was a... Uh, like all of the staff, or not all the staff members, but like a lot of the founding people of Olympus, yeah, were they were gang on asylum. They didn't like like how the server was going, so they you know fuck it, we're gonna make our own version, you know. Yeah, kids try to do that nowadays. It doesn't work too good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have to, you know, if you don't have a foothold in the armor community, you can't do shit now. You start off in the in these gangs, and uh, you're playing Civ Life. What what um what makes you switch from being in these gangs and doing Civ Life to joining the APD? I actually. I wanted to be an APD all along, right? Mm -hmm. But I had uh, I had previously lied about my age. Well, actually, well, 
I forgot to mention this part. I was lying about my age the entire time. No one, no one actually knew until I got cop how old I was. I told people at the time I was like 16 and 17 when I was in reality, like 12 and 13. And I, I don't know how, why people believe me. I guess I wasn't as squeaky as I, I sounded. I don't know. But I actually wanted to be a cop all along, but I lied about my age and got blacklisted by, uh, this is when Doc was a lieutenant. I got blacklisted by Doc and Talendor. So uh, I got blacklisted by them. And uh, I put in, I keep putting in, you know, I, I try to make up some like stupid elaborate excuse. Like, like, dude, I, I, I swear I'm 16. You know, I just can't show my driver's license. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just try to lie about it. And um, I finally, I get an age exception when I'm, I had just turned 15. Um, I just turned 15. I put in an app. This is when Goat was chief, or the first time around Goat was chief. Mm -hmm. And uh, and usually, from my experience, um, when I was senior, even after someone gets an age exception, we require them to show uh, a f like, um, proof of age. Just, you know, make sure, because you know, they lied before, you know, why wouldn't they lie again, right? So, um, Goat told me <laughs> the only reason why I got accepted is because he was fucking smoked like he was high so he like he didn't even care he just accepted it <laughs> and i get accepted you know and then after i get that you know i'm like i'm hype but this is still in the phase of like, i'm like try hard cartel fight you know i think i think like holy shit i'm nuts you know like yeah like how everyone think they are today but um i you know i'm playing cop off and on off and on you know what i'm saying and then i um i eventually like, you know like holy shit it's fun right and i meet like some cool guys on cop that i you know i didn't know on civ and these guys are career cops, and, you know, I enjoy playing with these guys, you know, more than I like the cartel guys. So, you know, I just stick with cop. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I eventually, I get, I get corporal, right? This, this, holy shit, it took me a while to get corporal. I think it was like a year for me to get corporal. That may be a little inaccurate, but um, I got corporal, right? Uh, because of a good friend, this guy named, uh, no longer plays anymore, but he was a cool guy named Ignacio. He, um, he helps me get corporal, and then he dips, which is very unfortunate. Uh mm -hmm. I get corporal, and back in the day, at this time, I was still 15, I think. I can't remember. Maybe it was a little under a year. Maybe it was nine months, something like that. I, I don't remember I was still 15 at the time, though. And uh, what's his name? Way back in the day, you probably don't know him. His name is Ham. Right. This guy gets uh, – he got corporal at the same time. Well, not the same time I did, but he got at the same age. And they told him when he was a corporal, that's the farthest he'd ever make it because, you know – Ham had also lied about his age, so they're like, you know, since you're past lying about your age and that you're 15, you'll never move past corporal, you know, you're like, you'll just stay a corporal forever. So I thought it would work the same way for me, and, you know, my dumb mind, like, they never told me that, but, you know, I just assumed. Yeah. Which is, uh, fortunately, I was wrong, and, uh, I, um, I apply for FTO, you know, I get denied my first time for FTO, actually, because I was inactive at the time, but I apply right. again, get accepted, and I, um, you know, past the interview, and um, I, I used to have dog shit in it. I like, I'm pretty sure th this is on my old computer. I had a lot of malware. You know, like I was just an idiot. I don't even think I had um, I don't think I had virus protection on it, and I had somehow got some malware on my computer that made me permanently have a VPN on. And this V, it's really weird. I, I have no clue. But my, I was my, I always had a, I permanently had a VPN on for Japan. My my IP was Japanese. So on top of my shitty internet, and on top of being on a Japanese VPN all the time, I had terrible internet. And these trainings, back in the day, I, I don't I don't know how FTO is doing now. But back in the day, these trainings would take like 30 and 45 minutes to do. And it would take longer for me. It would take like an hour and a half per training because I um I had I had terrible internet. Like I couldn't talk. These guys couldn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> so uh, it would take a while for me. And shout out uh, to Hurricane and uh, Rapidax, I believe. And if, I'm sorry if I forget you were an FTO at the time. These guys, they, sometimes they would do the trainings for me. Like I, they would realize they couldn't talk. You know, like they're like you know, Panda, you can leave. We'll finish it for you. You know, so like, and they would let me keep my name on it. So like, they had a, sh a sheet of how many trainings you get. Yeah. And um, you know, they would uh let you, you know, that's how the the senior AP kept track of your activity. Yeah. Uh, so like, shout out to them. They would like uh still let me keep my name on it. You know, so I get oh, yeah. the the point for it or whatever. But uh, fortunately, at the time, I was getting fiber internet installed at my house, which I was playing on a hotspot. I forgot to mention my internet was dog shit because I was playing on a hotspot. I did not have internet at my house. A hotspot, Japanese yeah. VPN. Japanese VPN on it, yeah. That's and, um, Yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> I get um, – I, I put on like a two-week LOA, and right. uh, the two weeks is up, and I – 
I tell Pledge, I'm like, dude, I literally can't do trainings. So Pledge was chief at the time. I tell him, like, dude, I literally can't do trainings um, because of my dark shit internet. And I'm like, um, you know, obviously I've been notified, like, they were installing internet. Like, and they, they told me it was sometime soon. They never gave me an exact date. Pledge is like, I'll extend your LOA one more week if, you know, you don't have it fixed by then or removing you. This week comes and passes. Pledge forgets to remove me. So that's the only reason I got sergeant because Pledge forgot to remove me. And then oh, my internet comes in like two weeks after that. Uh, so I have good internet and I start grinding it and I, you know, get Sergeant with Hurricane. But uh, I, I believe the reason, and this may a little be a little bit off, but the reason Pledge forgot to remove me is because uh, he was in Italy. He wasn't home. And he, mm -hmm. Pledge did not note it down on the sheets that I was supposed to be removed. It was just, you know, like a mental note. Mm -hmm. So when I got Chief, Pledge was in Italy and he had been in Italy for a little while. So, uh, yeah, it's the only reason I got sergeant because Pledge was in a different country. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, some things line up for a reason, you know what I mean? Yep. How was it getting sergeant? Like, what is that, uh, what is it, how does it feel, I guess? It's pretty crazy, you know, like, um, I mean, it sounds cringe saying pretty crazy video game thing, but, you know, like. I mean, once, but it's true, though, like. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean. It, especially it, being under, I still at this time wasn't 16. Right, yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, especially for, uh, maybe for someone like, like, so I'm 20, like, maybe, I feel like, I yeah. mean, I'd get super excited, like, if I got fucking corporal or sergeant, I'd be like, oh, shit, like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but especially when you're, like, a lot younger, you know, like, I mean, if you're, if you're 15, you're five years younger, you know, at that yeah. time, like, oh, yeah, like, you're, you're like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's crazy. Yeah, you're like, this is a wake of cunt, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, the way I thought, I was like, dude, like, I'm not even old enough to be a deputy, how am I a sergeant, you know, like. It's like um, it was it was pretty crazy. Did you get any but, backlash yeah. for being young as a sergeant? N none. Was it ever a problem? Uh, I I don't know if you could account. Th I guess like you could you could chalk this up to my age, but me uh, personally, like no one ever said anything to me personally. Maybe they you know talk shit behind my back, but me like me actually having problems because of my age, um, I would get very angry like easily. Like whenever um, I remember one time in particular, Pledge yelled at me for this. We were doing a, uh, a fed, and this is before the fed um, ghost hawk gun hawk ghost hawk guns hot rules were changed. Mm -hmm. Is uh, back whenever the bomb blew at feds, you could just go guns hot inside of the fed rings. Yeah, yeah. And I had some fucking brain dented deputy in my gunner, <laughs> and this kid would not listen to me for like the life of me. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, I, I was trying to get him to shoot some guy in a tower or something, and he would not listen to what I was saying. I'm like, bro, shoot the guy in the tower. Shoot the guy in the tower. And he's like not listening to me, so I just scream at him, I'm like shoot this guy right here, you know, like just trying to tell him to shoot, and he would not listen to me. I I got fucking angry, and uh, Pledge was at that Blackwater, and he like moves me in after. He's like, you know, you can't you can't be getting like an attitude and angry at like subordinates for that. And um, yeah, I like apologize for everything, but apparently that happened on a few occasions. Pledge told me that it occurred on a few occasions, which I mean, obviously when you're doing it, if you have an issue sometimes like that, you don't really notice you're doing it. But uh, I guess I did it a few times. But like two weeks ago, I didn't yell at him. But his his fucking deputy, he's like, we're like who's last? And we look at the map, and it's like the deputy. And we're like, fuck. You know, instead of black <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah. And he's like, what are they doing? They're not killing me. They're just shooting me in the legs. I'm and we're like, sure was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was at that black water. It was um, somebody was yelling. I think it was. No, yeah, it was you. I remember yeah, I was there. Yeah, dude. The guy wouldn't, he wouldn't, I, I went in the spectator. I remember I went in the abstract. I'm like, what the fuck is this kid doing? <laughs> I go up next to him and he's just running at the guy who's shooting. Dude. Yeah. I was like, put, I was like, put your hands up right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, Oh, jeez. I was so, I, was, I wasn't really that mad. I was just like, I was just like, what are we doing? Like, I was like, just yeah, like, come on, dude. Like, I just couldn't believe. I'm like, dude, does this kid not hear us? Like, did he oh, mute yeah. us? Like, what is going on? Like I, like, I don't really get mad. It's not that deep. Like, if we lose a black one on a cop, I'd give two fucks. But I'm, I just know everyone's sitting here waiting for this kid to die or put his hands up. And fucking yeah. everyone else has already said something. And then everyone's just sitting there waiting for him to do it, but he's not doing it. So I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> hello? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, especially that guy. Because like, it wasn't just you. It was like multiple people. And it's like, put yeah. your hands up, dude. I'm sitting here in the spectator just watching him, like completely ignoring everyone. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, getting back to that, I actually remember now, this is uh, pretty infamous, uh, maybe some current seniors that were senior when I would was remember this, because I actually got in a little bit of trouble for this. <laughs> um, there was, like, some post people were, like, complaining on the forums about someone getting... Oh, I remember exactly what it was. Exact... Mita got sergeant over a bunch of other corporals, and they were very upset. They were just... 
they were being absolute like they were just being very vocal about being upset which you know like sure like I mean, I understand being upset about it, but, like, it's like shitting on someone else's, like, you know, big day. Or, I guess, call it big day. I don't know. But it's like shitting on someone else's accomplishment. Like, yeah. it was something me that worked for. Like, it was like people were just, like, personally attacking her. Also, like, it's not me being, like, a white knight, like, or anything. But I'm, like, I made a status update somewhere. I was, like, along the lines of, like, you know, maybe you guys, like, think on why you're not getting sergeant. Like, cause I said, I said something like, majority of the corporals right now are fucking retards. I said something like that. <laughs> While I was a lieutenant, <laughs> or no, it was right before I got lieutenant, because uh, I remember some other seniors got mad that I got lieutenant after saying that. But I was sergeant. Yeah. I'm like, can you guys like majority of the corporals are fucking retards? Which I stand by that because the majority, like when I said majority, the people I was talking about today are still corporals going for sergeant. So I mean, uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry uh, for anyone that uh, may maybe thinks I'm talking about you, except for I think Mason Harrison, you were a corporal at the time. You uh you deserve sergeant. You're one of the next sergeants tomorrow. So, That's um, nice. yeah, he's, yeah, there's, he's, there's uh, definitely a few of them I'm, that he, weren't. But yeah, well, you said the ones. majority. You didn't say all, yeah. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. So like, yeah, and the people like misconstrued what I said. Like they're like, they're like, um, they're like you called all the corporal retard. I'm like, no, I didn't call them all retarded. I called majority of them. I mean, and if you if you know anything about like APD or like how promotions are done within senior APD you can look at the chain of command and you can basically tell who's getting you know what and maybe sometimes they'll have like a wild card pick you know like someone random but like right now I, I can just like look at the chain of command I'm like okay you know this guy's retarded this guy's not retarded this guy will get it this guy's not getting you know it's pretty easy so but um that's what I meant it's like I and when I say retarded I don't I mean I mean you're retarded but I don't mean you're fucking like brain damage you know what I'm saying like <laughs> <laughs> you you can't you you're not you you're not able to do sar the sergeant duties. You're not yeah. able to hold the next yeah. position above you. Like yeah. you're good. You, like you're okay at what you do right now, and you would be horrible at what you have to do above you. Right? Is yeah. I, how I would interpret that is like yeah. you're not ready for the next position. Like yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. And not that it's not like the you know the desk duties or whatever sergeant. Like that that stuff's like it's like whatever. Like you don't really you just put your brain on autopilot when you do that yeah but uh it's like oh, shit this sounds like cringe and shit but like the responsibility within the server and i feel like i didn't really handle it very well when i first got it because you know me being kind of toxic how i was you know i was i was rude to some people when i got the position and uh you know people like if you're if you're a corporal like trying to get sergeant don't you know just chill out right like i was i was rude to some people you know i kind of didn't have an ego i would say but i was just rude to people for no reason a good way, I think, to, to get promoted is just to be active, but also be vocal, right? Because if you're always in a channel, at the bottom of the channel, you never say anything, you're not going to be noticed. Because mm -hmm. there's just a yeah, lot of people who play, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that was a big thing. It was like, uh, I can't think of anyone in particular, but we would, um, we would when we would go to the senior meetings, it would be like, um, they would go down a list of people that were eligible for corporate, like, you know, they had the timing grade and the hours required yeah. for it. They'd be like, uh, you know, what about this guy? And they'd be like, oh, he, you know, he doesn't say anything, like, ever. Yeah, you know, like so, like we're not gonna give it. That was one thing with EC Andrew. EC, like, he he's a corporal now, but like, one thing he never like that was one of the things besides him just meeting his bare minimums for times. That's like one of the reasons he didn't get corporal was because um yeah he never said anything. Like, and when he did, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like anything special. Which I mean, you don't have to say anything special, but it's just like, you know, what I'm saying like you have to be a little more vocal. Make it known that you're in the channel, right? Like, don't be annoying right. as shit talking too much, but make it known you're there. Yeah, well, I mean, because, like, your job, I think your job when you're in a channel as a higher up is to, like, lead in a sense. And it doesn't mean you have to, like, micromanage everyone, but at least, like, if something whack starts happening, you're like, wait, 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 what? Like, no. you know, like, if, you, if you're scared to speak up when something's, when something fucks is happening, then, like, how, how are you gonna do your thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that doesn't work. Like, I don't know, like... If you're the higher up and you just stand in the corner and like be quiet when shit's going on, like that don't yeah, fucking work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You, that's just not how you're it is. You're supposed to be the leader, right? Yeah. yeah. So now, like, all right, when when I was like really big into gang life, I was I, I don't know if like that just came with like me, you know, getting older and realizing, or just me like playing Arma and realizing. It's not like about being the best at the game. It's about like you know having fun and. It's like when I was playing gang life, I wanted to be the best, right? I didn't want to be in any shit gang or like any gang that was like labeled like that. But now, like you guys know, you guys like have fun. Like you don't care. You guys don't. I mean, you care if you die, obviously. But like, 
at the end of the day, you guys are just having fun, right? Like, mm-hmm. and I, I, I was never like really in a gang like that because of, you know, I just didn't want to be in, you know, like a lower tier gang. Right. And, and it's like, it's not any shit talk, like calling you guys a lower tier gang. It's just like, you know, it's like, I don't know. There's no like gangs where you can have fun that's a higher tier gang because like I, I legitimately like in some of those higher tier gangs, I got, I've been kicked from gangs for not killing someone that killed the leader one time. Like, I, like it's, it was crazy. Like, they yeah. were, like, kind of strict about it. It was kind of weird. Like, but... what made you want to get into staff? Was it something that you strive for or something that you were more invited to? Uh, I wouldn't really say, like, it was either. It was, like, um, it's kind of, kind of, com- or not really complicated at all. Honestly, it was really simple. Basically, like, the story of it is, um, I was not a huge fan of Aries at all. Any any of the seniors I was seniors with at the time will tell you that. Me and Aries, um, I believe it was twice we just got into screaming matches. Me and Aries like actually got in a pretty big argument over this. Um, Deadpool, I don't know if you're aware of why he was blacklisted from APD, but uh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> so we, a lot of the times, Deadpool wasn't even given a chance to come and talk. Oh, you know, his blacklist appeal they, or his blacklist, they were just denied automatically. This time, we give Deadpool the chance to come and team speak and talk about it, right? We're in a meeting. We let uh, Aries, Aries thinks we have some kind of vendetta against Deadpool. So he wants to listen to this. He wants to listen to us, like our thought press on why we're not on blacklisting Deadpool. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan of Deadpool. But like when I was senior APD, I tried to, you know, see thing, things through, right? Like I tried to have, you know, crystal clear, no bias at all, right? Yeah. And um, which I was being that way with Deadpool. Um. But Aries thought we had some kind of bias, so he wanted to listen in, right? He wanted to hear our thought process on why we were going on blacklist and we're not on blacklist. Him. Deadpool comes in, you know, he tells us what he did and gives us an apology. Um, basically, this apology was that uh, basically TLDR, he, he wasn't sorry for what he did. He was sorry that he got caught doing what he did. Uh, uh, that picture that it got around, for anyone that doesn't know, it was a, a racist picture regarding Chris. And... um uh he like he spread it around the team speak right he was like and he 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 claims in that meeting that he only gave it to a few people and those few people went and spread it around that wasn't like the point of it like it's just like even if you're not sorry for it come and say you're sorry for it right if you want cop that bad like just like, bullshit your way through it right yeah but um deadpool wasn't having it like he, he was just basically saying obviously he didn't outright say i'm not sorry but he was basically saying he's he wasn't sorry that he did it. he was just sorry he got caught and um I addressed that when Depp was out. I'm like, dude, he's not even taking accountability for what he did. He's like, it, he was also trying to throw the blame on someone else. Right. And um, I'm like, dude, he's not even taking accountability for what he did. Like, I'm like, how how are we gonna unblacklist him? Like, he's not even sorry or whatever. You know, I guess you know I was taking it a little bit too serious. I understand it's just a game, but like, I mean, that that was the whole point of that, right? And then Aries is like, he butts in while I'm talking, and he's like. <laughs> It's like, Panda, let's take a look at your band history. I guarantee I can find something on you about racism. I'm like, dude, it's not – I mean him going back and forth. I'm like, it's not about the racism. Like, I personally don't care. Like, like I, I don't condone racism. But if you want to be racist in your own time, like, be my guest, dude. But if you're going to be racist about someone on the APD and then send it to them directly, he also sent it to Chris. I don't know if that was uh, known or someone sent it directly to Chris and he made it. Like, that's a problem then. And um, – yeah. I'm like, dude, it, like me and Aries, there, someone has a soundboard. You can probably find it somewhere. <laughs> me and uh, <laughs> me and Aries went on about a minute, just us screaming back and forth at each other, and then um, Pledge is like, guys, please stop. He's just like, he wanted he wanted us to stop because you know he has to he has to like take accountability, but he was like he was letting Aries have it a little bit, you know. Um, but yeah, that was basically it. And Aries is just a fucking idiot. But <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to be staff while Aries was uh, owner. I, I didn't i did not like him at all right and uh um uh i heard like a day or two before like i, w- I was friends with ryan before he was owner mm-hmm. i wasn't like as close with him as i am now but i heard like he may be getting the server right mm-hmm. and you know like me and ryan are friends and uh you know I, it was someone that i would enjoy like helping the server out with right mm-hmm. so i'm like whenever aries is gone i'm gonna apply for mod at this time, I was still 15. I'm like, I'm 15. Uh, the minimum age for staff is 18, so I'm probably not going to accept it, but, you know, why not, right? Yeah. So uh, I put it in. It stays in for from July to October. What's that, three months? Yeah, th- something like that. Three months. And uh, 
it gets accepted. Honestly, I was I was shocked. And in this time, also, this is when all that staff left, right? So they also needed more staff. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry, it was when all the staff left, and um, so they needed staff. So, I, and, you know, it's kind of a thing. It's like I think sometimes I'm like, was I I brought on because you know I was a good candidate, or was I because they needed staff? And I would like to think it was because you know I was a good candidate, right? And obviously. I feel like I'm a good candidate because I, you know, I haven't gotten any trouble yet. I've only had a single report on me, and uh, I'm not going to say the guy's name because he's pretty active in the community. But he basically he claimed that I was his brother, and that I gave him money, like in game. He claimed that I gave him money in game, and this guy is also from Ireland, so <laughs> claimed that I was his IRL brother and gave him money in game. That's the only time I've ever been reported. So it's a pretty <laughs> funny story. Sounds pretty legit, man. You might be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that, giving people. Yeah. <laughs> How how did that happen for you? Was it just uh you get, you get pulled during a staff meeting, or they told you like, hey, be on Team Speak at this time or whatever? Like how? Uh, it's it's kind of like a thing. Um, it's like some some corporals may be able to relate to this, or people with mod apps in currently. Mm -hmm. Um, whenever you have a mod app in, or you're going for like a senior, like that big jump, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You you're always you know when these meetings are happening. And when they're being discussed, you're always going to be in TeamSpeak at that time, just in case, you know, right? So I, I knew the meeting was going on um, because I was a senior at the time. So I knew, like, you know, when the staff meeting is going on, a senior. Yeah, yeah. So I was in TeamSpeak at the time, and uh, I get pulled in. And they tried to um, – it, it used to be a thing for senior APD. I don't think it's a thing anymore. They used to make you sing whenever you got a rank like that. They tried to make me sing something. It didn't go very well. Someone's like, why the fuck are you guys doing this to him? So they just <laughs> stopped it. So, um, but yeah, they just like gave me mod and they, you know, they showed me how to do everything. Yeah. And, um, basically from there. How does the mod to add in thing happen? At least for you, like, what was the, was there a certain thing that you kind of like worked hard on? Like, I don't know, like how, is it just like a time-based thing or? Usually it's like, um, if you don't, if I, I, we don't like the admins don't directly know. And if they do know, like on how, it, like how admin promotions work, uh, if they do know, I wasn't informed, but if I was a senior admin, this is how I would look at it. Right. And I'm pretty sure this is the way they look at it. It's the only logical way, in my opinion. Um, you look like, do they, do they have any reports on them? Obviously like any, any like actual reports, like solid that'll go through. Um, and also like how many tickets, how many false fans have they had? You know, how toxic are they? Are you know, are they doing well with their current position? Are they power tripping? They got an ego. Um, and also, um, you know, like how active are they? Like, I, I don't know if I've ever said that, but like how active are they? And if, as long as like, you know, all those boxes are, you know, good and you're checked, mm -hmm. you should be able to get it. Like as long as you're not an idiot, there's no test for it or anything like that. Um, but yeah. I wouldn't say it's a huge jump, but like a bigger jump from mod to admin because you get access to like more things. Or sorry, um, from mod one to mod two, it's like a bigger jump. Mod one um, is your training rank, right? Yeah, yeah, you're like basically like trial staff, and um, yeah, and you um, not not really trial staff, right? But you're keeping it. But it's like you come in on reports, like the reports will come in, and you're like add your notes on it, like oh, would you ban for this, or I would ban for this, I wouldn't ban for this. Here's why I wouldn't ban for it, things like that. But uh, it's like a bigger jump whenever you get admin because you uh, you can do one, you can do like more unique events in game, um, and you can do comp requests, which uh, they're not really a problem at the time. But back when I was a mod, there were a shit ton of comp requests in. It was like it was like 90 or something like that. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, it was like a bigger jump. I feel like. It's, it's yeah. like more chill as an admin also because you don't have as much competition for tickets and shit. Yeah. Man, I, lo I fucking I looked at the, the uh, support section today. I just I, I always try to see, like, because sometimes I'll look and there's, like, a shit ton of requests and I'll be like, oh, fuck. And then sometimes yeah. I'll look, it's, like, dry. I'm like, damn, okay. Like, they got this shit out of the water, you know? So, yeah, right now it's it's looking pretty clean. I was surprised. Maybe it has something to do with the server pop, but... No, no, they're, they're still coming in. It's uh, it's kind of me, no life yet a bit. Let's. Uh, oh really? Yeah, in the past three days, I've done like ninety-five tickets or something Holy crazy. Fuck. I just done a shit ton of tickets. That's crazy. Is it? It's one staff point per ticket, isn't it? Uh, well, we're required fifteen tickets a uh, a week, and anything after fifteen, you get one staff point for it. Okay. So, but if you're a mod, you get um, you get for anything past fifteen tickets, you get a hundred k because they don't have infinite money. And right. uh, a staff point. So, so, what's some of your the good stories you have um, 
regarding staff. So what's some of the maybe, I don't know, fu- funny or, or drama or tickets, just whatever you can think of, something that comes to mind. Uh, I guess, uh, or I, I have a few, actually. Let's start out with tickets. Oh, my. There was, there was this one ticket I, I, I in particular. There was um, some guy, right? He, was, he just left his little – his um, – Cement Trader, I believe it was. Yeah, he just left Cement Trader. And an offer, this guy, you can tell this guy's pretty new to the server. And uh, he dies. But, uh, you know, this recording is just not any recording, right? This guy, he has his phone on a tripod recording his computer screen. <laughs> this guy's got like 10 frames. You can see the frames loading in on Arma. It was so funny. This guy, and I thought maybe like, you know, maybe this guy just couldn't get it to upload or something. You know, like I've had people, like they don't know how to change, like they'll, edit something in movie maker and not how to change it to an mp4 file from yeah. a movie file yeah so i'm like you know maybe this guy was just like one of those guys and he records it with his phone and just uploads it straight from his phone but this guy has like a live reaction of him being vdm like when he dies <laughs> he's like oh fuck or something like that it's, it's so funny so he's live recording yeah he's like at his phone like sitting on a tripod or something recording behind him or something, like a stack of books I, I don't know i call it a tripod i actually don't know what it was just recording a screen what the fuck no it wasn't on a tripod he was like this <laughs> yeah he's and playing like, play, like that. Yeah. oh my uh, it was so funny i've heard that vdm is very prevalent on the server i must be careful <laughs> always record that's funny uh. That's a good one. But uh, I can't really think did of the tickets. Did you cop him? Yeah, I did cop him. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, he needs was... it. You can just tell. Like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. At the end, you get to um, ask me any question you want. So one question, it can be anything that you want, um, and I'll answer truthfully and to my fullest of best ability. All right. Here we go. Was, this is like kind of on, on the topic of your uh, – of your gang you know it's not okay. it's not like some controversial question or anything but um okay. so if, if you were to get if you were to get moderator right if your app was to get accepted would you um would you keep your rank five or would you end up breaking and giving it to blue angel all right so i would have to see what the workload's like so i don't know if if i would retire if i started being inactive as hell on civ and i like wasn't there i would because if it if if me being like absent on Civ and not helping them means that they're unable to get shit done because they don't have the, an active rank five, then yeah, for sure. And I've actually thought about if I do get it, just like straight up retiring. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But yeah. I'm not I'm not totally against it. But I'm definitely not totally just for it, gung ho about like retiring because I work for that position pretty hard and yeah, it's just like noble yeah. and a lot of people see it as like a no big deal, but it is to me. So. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Yeah. But, yeah. And then, I guess I'll make up a follow-up to that. My plan <laughs> is, not going to lie, not going to cap, is to, like, seek out Noble tickets to be hard on them and to prove that I'm not going to be biased. Because, I mean, I feel like that's... Because I'm really, like, outspoken. I, like, really advertise Noble. And, like, I was the, like, recruiter for a lot of t- time. I made the post, like... My name's on my name and the name of Noble are like real close, and so I know that people are gonna suspect that oh Noble has a pocket mod now blah blah what if 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 I'm granted that position I know that'll be a thing and I just I don't know I just want to put that rumor in the dirt is it you know like real quick like I just like yeah. my my goal is is not to like headhunt Noble you know because yeah. I don't want to headhunt anybody but if I see that Noble ticket I'm gonna get it. And if they broke the rules, I'm going to ban them because I want people on the server in chat to see, oh, yeah, there's a noble member banned by Noah. Like, he's not picking favorites. That That's my goal. And, I mean, look, if they want to come talk to me and they want to try to get it appealed, like, if they're just like, appeal it because I, I'm, I'm your friend. Like, no, like, what's the reason? You know, like, I don't know. I My goal is to show that I, I'm unbiased. That's that's my biggest goal is to kind of follow up to that. You know, if, if that means I have to retire and maybe that, you know, is – like best for you know both worlds then that's what it'll be you know just like a few days ago i banned someone and it's, just, it's like pretty annoying they, they spam me on snapchat they're like yo like yo yo what the fuck was i banned for give me the video i'm like bro it's literally on your stats page like what the fuck you're like wasting my time i mean it's like i understand it but it's like come on dude and like i i'm not just gonna skip across tick because i know who you are like yeah. it's like if i skip across it it's not gonna really matter because someone someone else is gonna do it like it's gonna get done
Anyways, man, I really appreciate your time. This is your you chance. Too, bro. Yeah. Um, this is your chance to plug or, or shout out anything, anybody you want. And um, this Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Airborne, Mr. Eagle, Mr. Benjamin. Project X will be taking over at Kings. Uh, <laughs> and we will uh, see you guys later. Hell yeah. Thank you for your time, boss. You too, man.